Hello my darlings, welcome back to my channel and to another video. I hope you're doing well. If you're new here, please don't forget to subscribe because you don't want to miss my videos, do you? No, you don't. And also follow me on Instagram because you don't want to miss the fun we have there. Uh, I post quite frequently. Yeah. <laughs> okay guys, so uh, today I want to make a little bit shorter of a video um, and that is because I really want to dedicate a separate video to review a fragrance that everybody and their mothers ask me about and that is Jo Malone um, Rose and White Mask Absolute. Uh, so I'm gonna speak to you about the fragrance, my personal opinion on it, and also compare it to a similar fragrance, at least from the name, which is Montal Roses Musk. So, if you're interested, my darlings, then keep on watching. Okay, so let's start with Roses Mask Absolute from Jo Malone. So this is Cologne Absolute, which means that uh, you don't really have the top notes of the fragrance. The fragrance goes straight into the heart notes uh, and is definitely more lingering and more long-lasting than their typical fragrances. And straight out of the bat, I don't want to keep you waiting, I will say this lasts absolutely all day. On your hair it will last until you wash it so the longevity is really really there which surprises me a lot because I've had terrible experiences with Jo Malone before so uh, this one really surprised me a lot I absolutely love the longevity and uh, to me this is easily easily at the moment my top five um, oriental fragrances this is easily in my top five uh, from my whole collection, which is probably 70% of Orientals. So this says a lot. Uh, I am absolutely, absolutely in love with this fragrance. Um, let me tell you how it smells. Uh, so this, guys, is, as the name suggests, Rose and Musk. Uh, so you might see already some similarity to Montal Roses Mask. Let me spray it on the other hand actually already. So when I start talking about them, I'll have them in the heart already. Okay, so this one is composed of English rose, but uh, this rose smells very oriental, I must say. Uh, this is a fresh rose, very sweet, but not too jammy if you know what I mean. This is a sweet, fresh rose, uh, that kind of rose that, um, you know, you go to the garden after the rain and you still see the water from the rain on the petals. That freshness is in that rose, but this rose is very red and very luscious. So that's what I would say about the rose um, note overall in that fragrance. Uh, then we have the note of white musk, but guys, I am 100% sure, and I actually did read about it on the Jo Malone website, uh, there is oud in here. There is oud in here, even though the name does not suggest it, and they do not list it um, on most websites. The oud is here. Uh, and you get that very, very smooth oud, but this the oud is like completely in the background, so don't even get bothered with it if you don't like oud. It's barely there, but it is there. Um, so I must say this is very much on the oriental side of, of the fragrance, and this is uh, sweeter and not too spicy. It is a very beautifully blended, smooth rose, very fresh rose, but very deep with musk. I absolutely love it, guys. This is beautiful. So that's that. And now we have Rose's Mask, which you know is one of my favorites. This is one of the best roses, in my opinion, even though it's quite synthetic. So let's start with that point, actually. This is definitely more synthetic. Here you have a true, natural rose. The rose that is done here is perfection. Uh, to be completely honest with you, I don't think I own or sniffed a better done rose. 
This rose is the most beautiful rose I have smelled and this is the most natural smelling rose ever. Ever. When it comes to those deeper oriental roses. Fantastic. Okay, so this one we already established is more synthetic. You don't have that natural goodness of the rose that you have in here. Also this I would say is sweeter uh, and also less fresh and also definitely more powdery. Yeah, they go in a completely different direction. This is this goes into a sweet powdery fragrance. Um, I would even say it is more generic, even though I wouldn't say Rose's Musk is a generic scent, but comparing to this one, it's definitely like a class lower, to be completely honest with you, even though I love the scent, don't get me wrong, I keep reminding you that, because I really, really do love and enjoy that fragrance. This one is just, mm, this is, as again, sweet, deep, but fresh rose, very, very fresh rose with a lot of musk, very oriental vibes. So yeah, these go in a different direction. So I would say they are not similar. They do have moments where they do have some similarity to each other. Um, sometimes when this rose gets out of that powder a little bit more, then they get a little bit similar. But in general, these are completely different fragrances. So that's what I need to say from the bat. Uh, if you do own Rose's Mask, you definitely will not regret owning this one as well. Also, what I really want to say about this fragrance is that um, this is a newer fragrance in their range. This was released in 2020. And I know this is not available everywhere, uh, but I'll make sure everything is linked down below for you with the best price possible. Um, so this one, I would say, uh, if you want to go for Jo Malone, Velvet Rose and Oud, I would highly, highly, highly suggest checking this one first. Uh, because I do get questions about Velvet Rose and Oud, and I did own that scent, but unfortunately on me, it didn't last that well. I would get six hours from it with a very moderate projection. This one is way, way stronger. And this one to me is so much richer of a scent. This is just a rich scent. Like, you know, let's say um, Velvet Rose and Oud. Uh, they put three petals of rose, uh, half of praline chocolate and spread some cloves on top. Here, guys, they put three full roses, three full big massive luscious red roses with a lot of musk and oriental goodness. So from my weird, but I hope I'm making sense of a comparison. Um, you can see that this is just way, way richer of a fragrance. To me, Velvet Rose and Oud is just too mellow. I still do like the scent and I do recommend Velvet Rose and Oud if you are just starting out with Ouds and maybe you're not the biggest fan of Oud but you still want something oriental. Again, check this one out first. Because here, if there is some oud, because this is just like my guess of a perfume reviewer that they might be some oud in here. Um, if there is some oud, it is way, way more in the background, but you still have way, way richer of a scent itself, if you know what I mean. So yeah, I absolutely love this scent, guys. This is at the moment, as I said, in my top five oriental perfumes, I wear this as much as I can, even though I should maybe use it more sparingly because it was quite expensive, I'll be honest. Um, but this is just so good, so, so good. If I were to choose between um, Rose's Mask and this one, I would honestly have both still, but this one is way better, way, way better because here you have a true 
natural rose smell, uh, which doesn't happen that often, actually. So this is such a beautiful fragrance, guys. You absolutely need to try it. And um, I actually think this is a safe blind buy. If you have any, any similarity to my taste, you will love this. I promise you that. If you love Velvet Rose and Nude, you will be obsessed with it. If you love Rose and Musk by Montau, you will be obsessed with it. Uh, also, if you love fragrances like uh, Nina Ricci Lextas, I'm sure this will be so much better over a replacement because it's stronger, it's richer, it's well-rounded, it's just everything. So again, if you like fragrances in that realm, you will love it, you will die for this. Uh, I am very, very sad that not many people talk about it. Um, yeah, very, very sad about it because this is such an underrated line of fragrances. Even though, guys, I'll be honest, I said some crap about Jo Malone on this channel before, haven't I? I know. But that's because I just was disappointed. And um, in this case, I am over the moon. This is more than I was expecting. Absolutely stunning. It is, I must say, super sexy, super, super sexy. As it dries down, it gets sweeter and sweeter and sweeter. And you get, um, I wouldn't say you get more musk, but you get just more sweetness. And the uh, mm, fragrance itself gets more smooth. At the very beginning, you have some freshness. So basically what I would say is that the fragrance starts right um, when the rain is still on, like it's still raining on your rose petals in the garden. So you get that aquatic fresh, fresh, fresh rose with some water on top of the petals. And then the journey continues into a day and the sun comes out and the roses start to dry and you get that sweetness again, you know, that smoothness and sweetness and everything in your garden blessed together from the smells of beautiful roses. There you have it. I I don't think I've ever been so poetic about a fragrance, so please appreciate that. I don't know where that's coming from. Maybe I spent too much time in the sun today. But <laughs> I love it. I just really, really love it, guys. This is absolutely stunning, stunning. I know this is more of a pricey range, from Jo Malone, which is quite expensive to start with, but it's so worth it, guys, so worth it. Just save your money, don't buy 50 mils of Velvet Rose and Wood and like that, just save up and get this, please, just save up and get this. I know Montel is less expensive, I know Velvet Rose and Wood is less expensive, but this one is so much more worth it. This will last you all day. I must say the longevity is actually better than Montel. So much better. And I feel like the projection is even better than this one. Uh, although this is very decent, don't get me wrong, but this one is better. Even though it's still called a cologne, but this is cologne absolute. So you have a great projection, great longevity, massive compliment getter. This got me so many compliments wherever I went uh, since I've been spraying that all over my body. Beautiful, sexy rose, very oriental, but contemporary. Uh, any age can wear it, girl or boy. To me, it is unisex, but feminine leaning. Fantastic, but I wouldn't mind my boyfriend smelling like this as well. So, yes, that is that, guys. Uh, this, to me, uh, from the John Malone range and... Um, Oriental fragrances in general is 10 out of 10, hands down. I cannot believe I didn't get it sooner. So yeah, that's that, guys. If you have any questions, please leave me a comment down below. Uh, please remember that my email address uh, stated below is only for business inquiries. So if you have any questions for me personally, please comment down below or DM me on Instagram. And that's it, guys. Thank you so, so much for watching. I hope you're doing well and see you tomorrow. Bye.